How to create a new accession in Arctos. This tutorial will go over how to create a new accession in Arctos. And the first thing is that you need to be logged in with permissions to manage transactions. You can see here that I'm logged in. Once you have those permissions, go to Manage Data, Transactions, Create Accession. On the left is the information that you're going to be entering, but on the right is the accession number series for all of the collections that you have access to. So I'm going to go down to MVZ Bird because I'm going to enter in a new accession for the Museum of Vertebrate Zoology Bird Collection. I click on that number, go back to the top, it automatically fills that in. The status is in process as opposed to complete. The receive date is the date that we received it in the museum. Um, you can also select from a calendar. But you can type in, this has to be in date format, so the year, dash, the month, dash, the day. Nature of material can be whatever you want. I typically put in the number of specimens, what they are, where they're from. So in this case, it's 35 birds from British Columbia, Canada, colon, 31, and you can use HTML codes in here if you want to italicize scientific names, so Parasaurus canadensis. So that is the end of the italics code, and for Falsipenis canadensis. who it was received from. You have to select this from the agent table. So if you type in the name and hit the tab, it'll get you to the agent table and you pick that. Um, from agency, you can enter in. I usually don't. Um, but if it's from an agency, you can select that. How obtained? So is it a gift? Was it, was it a um, salvage? Was it field collection? In this case, it's field collection. The total estimated count in the accession. So that's 35. And then you can enter in remarks, again, with some HTML code. So I typically enter in um, some general information. So um, prepared as flat skins in the field to be stuffed in the museum end paragraph, but you can enter in also things like curatorial status, prep lab, st prep status, um, whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> whether it has correspondence or not, in this case it does have correspondence. Whether you want the accession made public, the default is private, meaning that it's only available to people in Arctos that have permission to view that collection. And then Go ahead and save the succession. Once it's saved, you can attach a project. So I'm going to attach a project, um, Western North America. Hit the tab. It'll get you the options for projects. I'm going to search for my project, which is Phylogeography and Species Limits in Birds of Western North America. You can also add a permit. So I'm going to add a permit that uh, the export permit, which I created. I'm going to search for that. Once I find it, I can add it to the permit. I'm also going to add my collecting permit, which is M-R-K-A, and search for that. This is my collecting permit, add that, and then I can uh, save this. And you'll see here that this project is now associated with the accession and that these permits are also associated with the accession. Um, once the specimens are cataloged, you can get at the specimen list here and also map them in Berkeley Mapper. But right now, we just have the accession without catalog specimens. So that's how to create a new accession in Arctos. This is Carla Cicero from the Museum of Vertebrate Zoology, University of California, Berkeley.